All right, so you know I got Schoolboy Q anthems, right? I, yeah. love, I, I love your shit, but you know that man of the year is my shit, and you, you know what my new shit is, right? Which one? Come on, dog. Dope dealer. No. What? That part. That part. Ah. <laughs> that part. <laughs> you can't play that shit like my day over now. Yeah. Like you play that shit, it's over. It's like man of the year. I don't. I don't want to hear nothing. I want to hear that that part. Man, that's just funny because when I was making an album, I'm like my whole album is pretty much serious, right? I'm like I just need something where I could just like easy listen and just fun and just you know what I'm saying? That part. <laughs> oh, that yeah. shit is hard. <laughs> I love that part. I love that album, but this. Like, Come back! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kanye is. He's there. Yeah, yeah. Kanye, that's why I got him. I'm like, I know he's gonna say some off the wall shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I love that. Like, say for the show, you go, they go crazy too. Really? They go crazy when that drop. Man, you know, I don't really do shows. But uh, nah, you ain't gotta do that. But I gotta see that part. Yeah, yeah. You do man of the year in the set too? Yeah, that's at the end though. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. I can't yeah, like like you if you do man of the year, I'm coming on stage. Who up in this their streaming music like this is my own purpose this is my music you know so it, so like I ain't I ain't a pussy ass schoolboy Q fan I go to schoolboy Q here and then I go to my music and you'll see that I have downloaded my schoolboy Q oh, shit that's way before that's like, I've been, like I've been a schoolboy Q fan for deep you know, yeah, I was yeah, so yeah. fucking glad to, to to be able to hear niggas like you and Kendrick like 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 some young niggas making the right shit yeah. Like right now, you know, I'm not trying to discredit nobody, but man, I can't understand what the fuck you saying sometimes. Yeah, like what yeah, motherfucker yeah. be saying sometimes, man. What be talking about. That's like, why these little niggas me. speak English, man. Like, I, I can't that's why I was telling man. niggas like we come from that era where we had niggas like you, Pop, Biggie, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. E forty, like short like yeah. where niggas had substance and shit where you knew why you liked the nigga. Now I like shit and I don't even know why I like it. Mm, the beat's pretty dope. Yeah, like I just like it. Like I like this shit. Like, like, I don't know why I like, like it. it. Like I knew why I liked you, your detail and your shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I felt like I was from Houston. You get what I'm saying? Dude. When I heard Pac, I felt like I was from Cali. Like, like Dude. you know I am. When I heard Big, I felt like I was from Best Nine. Like, I don't I hear niggas and I don't feel like I'm from where they say they from, you know what I mean? When I first heard Scar first, I was too young. You know what I mean? Like, my cousin used to play Scarface, Pac, Cube, E-40. You get what I'm saying? It was just like the detail of their music. Dre, Snoop, Nas. Nas. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I am who I am today. Because being in the car with my cousin and having to ride and listen to this shit all day, it made me a fan of everybody. You get what I'm saying? Like, I didn't start rapping. So I was 21 years old. I'm 29 right now. You get what I'm saying? Like, but I always listened to music. I loved music. Like, I loved music. I remember the first Ghetto Boys record I heard when I was scared, bro. Y'all had the video. No concert. Yeah, bro. You were scared of what we was doing. You were scared of what Bill was doing. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at. I'm like, bro. There's some scary You're shit. Like, I'm a little nigga. Like, I'm like, bro. But I always <laughs> watched it. You get what I'm saying? Like, I always watched it, but I was you so it was like a scary movie. Yeah, you feel me? In a Halloween costume. Yeah. 
all the time. <laughs> like that little motherfucker keep a Halloween costume on all day long. That's crazy. Yeah, man, we had a, a, a as a group, dude. I, I, the Ghetto Boys, we we had a lot of we had a lot of fun, man. We did a lot of shit, not knowing that it would reflect on what was happening in music today. Like we pretty much the reason along with with, with uh, Luke. Yeah. You know, and Ice T and NWA, we pretty much those were the groups that made it. Got a nigga with them stickers on their album, right? Yeah. You know, they they wanted them stickers. Tupac, like they wanted them stickers on our albums. Like that was kind of like America's first go at taking the motherfuckers' freedom of speech away from them. Man, it was, I need some detail. That's my whole thing. Like, I'm not gonna get faced for the the party joint. Nah, we just gonna I'm go with a music sound. Right. sound. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, when I heard him, I didn't hear a South rapper. Like, when I hear niggas now, I'm like, oh, he from the South. The three things that I don't leave my house with is my, my cell phone. I don't leave my house without my cell phone. I don't leave my house without my wallet. I don't leave my house without my pistol. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I don't leave my house without it. I can't do it. It's, that's my essentials. Everything else I can pick up along the way. Weed. My asthma pump. <laughs> Weed, my asthma pump, and a hat. Because my hairline is fucked up. Look at my shit. You 29? Yeah, I, I gotta go. Hey, I ain't tripping though. I'm gonna get the Bosley. You ready to cover this? Now, what, nigga? I'm hey. getting the Bosley. Y'all got me fucked up. Out of there. Hey, look, look. Oh, I'm hey, telling you, I'm gonna save oh, my Bosley. shit. I'm gonna save my shit. Oh, Bosley. I'm gonna save my shit. Hell no. You got me fucked up. You gonna get you a LeBron? Look, my shit gonna be like, oh, this is gonna be back, nigga. Hold so up. you saying these bitches can get fake asses, fake titties, a real gold, and I can't get an airline? Man, go and cut it off, man. Nah. <laughs> I promise you, man, like, my shit leaving. And then shit, I'm finna go down, I'm gonna have me a cool ass headline. Like, yeah, <laughs> nigga said, I'm finna go down. Get the Bosley, dog. Nah, I'm done. Get the Bosley. Yeah, nah, I'm done. Get the Bosley. I'm gonna mean, embrace the fuck out of this old age. And I'm finna walk out right. Walk out right. Yeah, give me some of that. Give me some of that advice, man. Some of that I, advice. I, I, you know what? If I could give you any kind of advice, it would be to. I know you came in the game right, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And ain't no, know this. this, this is probably the first thing you need to know about this part, th that part. Yeah. <laughs> like you ain't got no friends. Yeah. Like if me and you friends, then we friends. But if me and you doing music, then it's business. Oh, yeah. You have to separate, I don't give a fuck what it is. You have to separate the friendship part from the business part, from that part. That's the first thing I tell you. Two, that money part, that part, mm -hmm. right? If you can live off the money that you lived off of when you didn't have no money, then when you're done at the end of your career, you can start spending, right? That part. So impress yourself. Every motherfucking uh, morning I wake up and push these buttons, I'm impressed. <laughs> Sure. You feel me? Sure. That part. Nine times out of ten, a motherfucker gonna be trying to shine for a bra. Yeah. You right? Up right. top. Oh. That's what I do it for. Really? <laughs> hey. Most of the time, most of the time. Yeah, man. Get, get you one in lockdown. To be reintroduced to the youth. Yeah, man. See what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's, that's huge to be able to reach back and still be accepted by a 29-year-old. Thank y'all for giving me this opportunity to sit here and have a fucking conversation with the fucking king to me of the South, bro. I don't give a fuck what niggas talk about. This is the king, man. Yeah, fucking that, scarf. That king, face, dude, that king come with a lot of fucking responsibility. No, it does. No, I know you don't want to say it. I'm talking about for me, you know what I'm saying? Like. Why you think of the, the head nigga of the South, you think of Scarface. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's just what it is, right?